It's Friday, August 20th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KTC News Brief. There is some encouraging news in the state's fight against the pandemic. According to the Department of Health, the number of hospitalized patients has dropped slightly for the second day in a row. Almost 3,000 people, though, are still in the hospital. That number down from by 14 since yesterday. Here's a look at where we are. There are more than 5,900 new COVID cases and 67 additional deaths across Louisiana. In Acadiana, there are more than 1,000 new cases and 16 deaths. The majority of the governor's update today centered on children across the state. According to the governor, 28% of all new COVID cases are in children 17 and younger. He also says more cases have been reported in the first week of this new school year than the first week of last year. And Dr. Joseph Cantor with LDH says more testing is being done for children, but children can get COVID and spread it to other people. It remains true that younger individuals are less likely to suffer the worst consequences of COVID? Not absolutely. And we, we have seen some very severe cases in kids. We've seen some very severe cases in very healthy kids. Actually. In other news, 21 cadets from the Acadiana Law Enforcement Training Academy have something to celebrate tonight. Training class 165 took the stage in Scott to get their diplomas. The graduates are set to serve in agencies across Acadiana. Lafayette Sheriff Mark Garber says the cadets have been through more than 570 hours of basic training, but now this training has a shift in focus. We're, we're not equipping officers anymore to be warriors. We're training them to be guardians, you know, because we're not an occupying army. We're here to serve the public. And I think we've instilled those values of service first, of the, the preservation of human life into this group of cadets. And Bradley Benoit here with a look at our weekend forecast. Hey, Bradley. Hey, Jim. Well, it's going to be a hot weekend indeed. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies throughout our Saturday. Hot and quiet conditions. We'll go 95 to 96 degrees for that afternoon high, at least here in Lafayette. Those heat indices will settle anywhere from around 100 to 105 degrees during the hottest part of the day. And rain chances no better than around 5% for maybe one or two cooling showers by the afternoon. But most of us staying dry. Most of the same uh, going into Sunday. Rain chances is no better than 10% mid 90s for that high temperature. And as we head into the new work week, rain chances back to where we would expect them to be for this time of year at around 30 to 40% for a few of those scattered showers during the afternoon and evening hours, staying hot with afternoon highs settling into the lower and middle 90s, overnight lows in the middle 70s. Well, that's going to do it for this news and weather update for now. For future updates, keep it tuned to TV3 and follow us on our apps.